Guys, I am so excited to announce that WoW Classic is finally here. The game that we've all been waiting years for is finally coming, and tomorrow we're going to get our first real taste with the release of the WoW Classic beta. Now, this is going to be a closed beta, but anyone with a Battle.net account can apply to join the beta, which I'll explain in this video. My name is Sfand, and we're going to be going over everything related to the release of the official legacy servers, from the classic beta to the actual release date, along with the world's first, never before seen, classic WoW beta footage. So, here's exactly what you guys want to know. The classic closed beta is announced for tomorrow, May 15th. During the beta, you're going to have full access to all the content in the game from level 1 to level 30. This includes full access to questing, world PvP, professions, dungeons, and much, much more. WoW Classic is confirmed to release on August 27th, 2019 of this year. There will be phased content release, which means that the content will be rolled out in six different patches instead of the entire game being accessible at once. And here's the best part. There is no extra cost to play WoW Classic. It's 100% included with any existing WoW subscription. So, here's what we know so far. There's going to be some differences between original Vanilla WoW and the new WoW Classic. Some of the absolute most important things that you should know about include uh, the fact that the game is based off the final version of Vanilla WoW. Uh, throughout the progression of the game, there were 11 content patches, and throughout these content patches, classes had different skills, uh, they had talents that changed, and items even had different stats throughout the course of Vanilla WoW's lifespan. Uh, Blizzard decided to base WoW Classic off of the final version of Vanilla WoW, which uh, honestly most people believe to be the most complete version of the game, while releasing the raid and the, and the PvP content across six patches, as I stated earlier. <clears throat> Molten Core and Anixia are also going to be available on launch, but uh, no Battlegrounds or Honor System is going to be put into place until later patches. The six phases is something that myself and others have fought very, very strongly for, uh, especially after Blizzard initially announced they wanted just four phases of content. Uh, but they've been very, very active working with the community and considering feedback and the decision making so far, which, to be completely honest, is pretty surprising for, for a lot of us in the classic community who spent a lot of time removed from Blizzard in recent years. So that's that's been very, very uh, reassuring to see. Also. The game is based off the 735, uh, 735, excuse me, uh, WoW Legion client, and it's been reverse engineered to be as accurate of a representation of Vanilla WoW as possible, um, which actually seems to have turned out pretty well as well. Uh, you can see some features artifacted in, uh, such as you know modern game menus, the add-on engine, but this is mostly cosmetic. Uh, Blizzard's goal was to not leave anything in the game that was going to make a significant impact on the integrity of the game, so. Uh, that's been good to see overall. Uh, so far, it's been pretty successful. Um, also, and this is something else that, that hasn't been stated before, server population caps are likely going to be much, much higher than that of the original game. Uh, however, the average player isn't even going to notice this. <clears throat> Blizzard is developing a new server stability technology called layering, and that's going to replace the sharding technology from the modern version of the game. What layering is, is essentially a system where you have like digital copies of a server placed into one server. And each one of these servers work like a glass of water. So you take that glass of water, you fill up that glass with water, and you stop adding players or water in this analogy when that glass is full. When that glass is full, you grab a new glass and you start adding more water or players into that new glass. So what this is going to do, it's going to prevent players from uh, phasing in and out of friendly and opposing players' vision uh, once they've logged into the game, and this also allows more players to play on the same realm at any given time. So, while there may be some old school vanilla WoW queue times, this is going to help vastly, vastly reduce those queue times, and you can get into the action way faster. So, rumors have been going around about Blizzard hosting an event in Irvine last week where uh, they invited some content creators and media members out to playtest Classic so far, and uh, it was entirely true. So, last week, I went out to Irvine uh, along with the rest of the Classic Cast crew. You guys should check out Classic Cast, our WoW Classic podcast. Um, 
and uh, I got a chance to be one of the first people outside of the walls of Blizzard to get to play the WoW Classic beta. We spent like seven hours doing all kinds of stuff, leveling, dungeons, world PvP, uh, and, and just having the ability to give direct feedback to the developers of the game. Uh, you can see here, like we were doing a, uh, we were doing the Gurubashi Arena event. We had everybody who was there went and hopped in, and we just did free for all world PvP. Everybody was having a blast, and uh, it was a really, really, really good time. Uh, now, I uh, I was pretty happy. I was pretty happy with what I saw so far, but you can see some little things here and there that don't seem quite right, and uh, I think it's because of how they're trying to simulate spell batching. I am not sure on this yet, right? I haven't really gotten a chance to play it enough to test. However, you're going to see me. This is just going to be one of the many things that I'm constantly going to be streaming or uh, testing whenever I'm streaming on Twitch. But you can see there's a minor delay on some of these instant cast spells. Watch whenever I cast a judgment on somebody. The judgment damage doesn't apply immediately. It applies maybe like a quarter of a second afterwards. And I think, again, I think this is something with uh, them trying to simulate spell batching. Um... It's pretty, that's pretty nitty gritty, and that's the kind of stuff we get into on my streams and whenever it comes to Classic WoW. Right there, you actually saw the same kind of thing happen with Repentance. Like, I clearly repentanced the guy before his heal finished going off, and uh, his heal still went off. So, that's that's not something you normally see even with spell batching. Um, but yeah, this is just, like I said, the, the Classic WoW beta is going to be so incredibly important, and that's why Blizzard really held this event is uh, in order to get some direct feedback from people. But if you get a chance, if you get an opportunity to get into the beta, then you need to be giving feedback, especially if you're familiar with the game, you understand, hey, this is supposed to do this, it's supposed to do that. They do have a working reference client, a patch 1.12 original vanilla WoW reference client that everything is 100% is no changes, works perfectly. So what they're doing is they are going and if they get a report about something they go back and they check to see hey is this right or is it wrong and uh that's that's the kind of feedback that's going to be most useful to them there's still some things we're not so sure about uh you know one of those things is like right click reporting uh chat functionality Battle.net adding friends cross-faction. This is stuff that's come up a ton in my streams, but it's, it's stuff that we brought up in the past uh, for sure. Right-click reporting right now in the retail version of the game, it gives you too much power. You can right-click somebody, you can mass report somebody, you can get them muted, you can, you can, you can basically get them in trouble. And in a game which is, one, you, you're working with much larger numbers of people, but also it's so competitive out in the world, this is going to open the door for, like, uh, exploitation, basically. So, when we were actually there in person, we got a chance to talk to Ian Hazakosist. We got a chance to talk to uh, Brian Birmingham. We got a chance to talk to Omar Gonzalez and so many other people. And we brought this stuff up to them. I, I, like, we, I, I basically explained, like, this is one of those things where... If at the very least the threshold is an increase, there could be a negative impact on the gameplay. And, uh, you know, obviously they don't, they don't say one way or another if that's something that they're going to be fixing exactly, but they seem to have a positive response to a lot of this stuff. Another one is the chat functionality. If you play... I'm looking, jumping under Stormwind. So, yeah, if you play Retail WoW right now, you'll notice if you type messages too fast in the chat, it mutes you for a certain amount of time. And that's something that's really, really annoying. And it's something that, uh, honestly, I, I think it deters people from, from chatting. It's just one of those things that can negatively impact the social and the community aspect of Vanilla WoW that people love so much. Uh, this is something that still hasn't been addressed yet, and I'm really, really hoping that they remove it. Uh, it's, it's very, very annoying whenever it hits you, and it's like you're just trying to type because, you know, you're a gamer. You move around, type a sentence, move around, type another sentence, move around, type another sentence, boom, you're muted. And uh, it's something that I, I, I don't think is good for the game. So hopefully that's something that's going to be getting fixed. Um, Battle.net being able to add friends of cross-faction. Uh, one thing in Vanilla WoW that's a pretty big deal is uh, the potential for cross-faction collusion and, and basically enabling it, right? It's 2019. Everybody's got Discord or, or some sort of app. We're not using Vent or TeamSpeak or anything like that anymore. You're not trying to add people on AOL Instant Messenger. You don't have Winamp playing your music. You know, maybe you should. But 
it's it's different now. I understand that people are able to communicate with people much more easily than they used to in the past, but uh, one of the concerns is the fact that Blizzard basically enables this behavior by being able to go up to a player of the opposing faction, right-click their portrait, and click add to, fr uh, add, add to battle tag friends or whatever. Um, this is something that's bad, and uh, hopefully this is something else that they address uh, in Classic, or m maybe even in the entire game, I don't know, but uh, at least in Classic, I do think this is something that should be addressed. So... <clears throat> getting a chance to go to this event and, and talk to guys like Brian Birmingham, the lead dev, Omar Gonzalez, who's, who's the number two, um, Ian Hazakosis, who, if you're familiar with WoW, of course you're familiar with Ian Hazakosis. Um, getting a chance to talk to these guys and interface with these guys directly and give them direct feedback in person uh, has been something that's, that's really, really good. And players who get a chance to get into the beta are going to get the same opportunity but the way they're going to have to do this is through bug reports and stuff like that so if you go to www.wowclassic.com and you opt into the beta that's how you do it www.wowclassic.com it's very important that if you get in that you give good feedback <clears throat> so you can see here one of the other things we did, uh, we talked about the PvP that we did in the Gurubashi Arena. Uh, we also got to do an SM library run. So what you're watching right here is the first footage of WoW Classic Protection Paladin. Which is actually, dude, it's hilarious. I, I, I rolled a Paladin. I'm known for playing a Rep Paladin. They didn't even give Paladins a two-handed weapon. I was like, what the crap am I supposed to do with this? So I ended up going in and I tanked the Scarlet Monastery SM library as a prop Paladin. In, uh, at the demo station. So this is what you're seeing right here. This full video is gonna be posted on my YouTube channel eventually uh, alongside a one to 10, uh, level one through 10 first run, world's first look uh, at the WoW Classic beta for a Paladin. I, I, my time actually wasn't that great. And that's, again, one of those things I'm gonna be working on in the beta is working on my leveling time and, and getting that down. So you're gonna see a lot of that kind of stuff on my streams as well. So <clears throat> overall, Guys, I'm, I'm very, very, very excited about finally getting the WoW Classic beta. We finally have the release date. Tomorrow, May 15th, we're getting the beta. And August 27th, 2019, we are finally getting the chance to go home. We're finally getting the chance to play WoW Classic again. It's going to be an incredible time. Guys, please, 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 if you enjoyed this video, hit it with a like. You're going to see more videos coming non-stop. You're going to see streams coming non-stop. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on YouTube. SFANTV. Discord.gg. SFANTV. Join the community. The biggest WoW Classic community Discord uh, as far as content creators go. And also, if you want to grab yourself, say, uh, Make Azeroth Great Again hat, shop.sfantv. Do that. All the proceeds to that go to my parents. Uh, just one way to kind of help continue to support them. So again, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time.